Hey everybody, I'm John Granado. That's Lance Zerlon. You can hear us mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. You went early with the subscribe, okay? You went early, okay? So uh, let's 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 pick it up, all right, Lance? But if you would hit subscribe, you can get all of our content here at Sportsmap H O U. Hey, how about them Rockets? Eight of the last ten, including a 19 point comeback win against the Hawks. Eric Gordon was fantastic, driving to the basket, hitting threes. They look like a real, they're all grown up and a real basketball team, Lance. Let's say John Wall actually wanted to be, play nice like Eric Gordon is. Would 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 that make him even better? Oh, uh, yeah, it would. I think, you know, he knows how to run. I mean, listen, John Wall can play. He's just always hurt. He's getting a ton of money to do nothing. But let's not get it twisted here. John Wall knows how to play basketball. Um, he's good with the ball in his hands. He understands, you know, the point guard position. Yeah, it would it would make them better. I think that's an interest, interesting thing to think about because at some point the Rockets and John Wall could say this is a mutually beneficial thing to – be on, to have John Wall on the court and for John Wall to play, um, that could make some sense. Yeah, I think they could be a better team, but I think ultimately this is about developing a not just a culture, but also developing relationships between players and Steven Silas and Rafael Stone finding out, John, who the guys of the future are going to be for this roster, who you start to build with. Maybe not build around necessarily with all of them, but build with. And we know that John Wall is not going to be a build with guy. No, no, no. We know we know what he is. We, we listen. They want to trade him, and I get it. They don't want him to get injured on the court because he's untradeable. Then, but look at how much Eric Gordon is worth. He's really raised his value this season at nineteen million dollars. He is actually going to be a a trade piece before that deadline. Yeah, I don't know what you get for him. You may only get a second rounder. I mean, someone's going to have to take on. $10 million or of his contract whenever you trade him. But th- that's fine. I mean, I don't I don't have a problem with that. If you move Eric Gordon, you get something in return. I'll tell you what, though, John. What are you going to do? They're 9-18 and 18 as of the recording of this. What happens if they keep playing solid basketball, consistent basketball, even with Jalen Green back or Kevin Porter Jr. back or whatever iteration the Rockets are? Would you consider keeping the veteran here if you're at the 10 or 9, you know, your 10th or 9th in the league and you think you've got a chance to get into that playoff scenario, even if you're on the borderline, would you do you want to create a competitive situation for young players to sniff and strive towards that playoff mark? Uh, if if the boy the guys come back and they play pretty well, I think Eric Gordon is expendable. Don't forget you're you're talking about all the same positions that the guys are all playing. No, that's true. And, and DJ Augustine can you know can have his role too. Listen, if they make the playoffs this year, that's line up. That's just a bonus. That's just so great and so awesome. Uh, 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 superseding anything that we thought of this basketball team before the season started, that would be great. But if you can get rid of that Eric Gordon money. Uh, if I'm Tillman, I do it now. I ain't worried about Tillman's money, but Tillman is, and Tillman's going to say, "Hey, I want to get that ten off, the nineteen off uh, next year. Let's go, Eric Gordon, wherever it is. See ya, and we'll 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 fend for ourselves without you. Listen, you want to get some, you want to save some money. If you got a car for a kid." Now, all of a sudden, what about the tax implications? Well, you're not, yeah. And you're talking about getting rid of things and saving, you know, getting rid of this, getting rid of that. You can move your car. You can get the car off your property. The car, truck, motorcycle doesn't work. They don't care. They'll come out there. They'll haul it off your property. You get a tax write-off. It allows you to write off the car, not the kid. And Houston Can Academy is uh, the beneficiary because they're working with cars for kids. For more information, to find out what the company is all about and how you can have them come take your car off your property, go to carsforkids.org. So what's the likelihood we actually see John Wall on the court this year? Uh, I, you know, for some reason, I feel like it's going to happen. I don't know I why I think that. I just feel like the Rockets are going to want to showcase him at some point and just to see if they can get a, a nibble from a team. So. I think the likelihood is probably at um, maybe slightly over fifty percent. I'm not going to go too crazy, but I think there's. I, I think I could see it happening. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, Eric Gordon is what's been, has been a sixth man his whole career, practically. He's starting now. This would be where John Wall was starting. I know they weren't going to guarantee him, hey, you're going to start for sure and we can't give you all these minutes. But he would have been right now. And oh, by the way, he might be later in the season. Like you said, if they do get rid of Eric Gordon, John Wall might be that piece that fills in for what Eric Gordon was doing and make maybe make a run at the playoffs. He's got to eat that ego instead of just sitting there collecting $37 million and 41 one next year. I mean, get get on the court and play with these guys. It's got to be it's got to be killing them seeing how well they're playing, and he's just sitting there. Why well, is it killing him when he's buried in money? <laughs> I mean, well, he's oh, a co- I'm dying. Yeah, he's not dying because they beat the Oklahoma City Thunder. He's dying because money is so heavy on top of him. It might be crushing his his lungs. No, you don't get to there where he's at as a competitor without saying, "Man, I want to play." Right. You yeah. can't tell me that that dude isn't sitting there going, "I wish I was playing right now." Too bad, so sad. Haters stay off the train. <laughs>